Good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 11th of December. Yes, guys, the 11th of December. Not long to go now till the big Christmas event happens. <laughs> oh my gosh, it can be a little overwhelming <laughs> sometimes, guys. Um, first off, guys, I just was going to show you a little bit of what I got at the Christmas barn the other day. I know you guys always follow my little bits of bobs of journey. I bought a couple of golden stacks. <laughs> this is for the table setting so we're going to put those on a really we're going to have it outside so because we have summer here and i've got a few of these little flowers to put with those so my daughter and i took my daughter because she's so creative so we're going to go the little golden natural sort of autumn themes <laughs> and these are some of the big flowers i got to put in my head aren't they gorgeous so many beautiful themes and colors look at all the golds they're just amazing, aren't they? So I got a few little different um, flowers. I love this big, like, pop giant poppy. It's so cute. So we're going to, like, poke these into my hedge outside and create a little bit of a vibe going on. We've got a nice umbrella and everything. So that's what I've been doing at the Christmas barn, guys, just to let you know. I know you guys are getting into your Christy decorating. You've got to have a little bit of fun and joy in your life, haven't you, guys? It's easy to just let it all sort of roll by but you know we've got to create our own fun we know that on this channel cheers everyone i've got my coffee um i'm still doing a few viewer reads here and there guys um oh, i didn't have time to do them yesterday so today i'm going to be doing betty lung and dawn hamlin so look out for those at the end if in my last reading one before last i did debbie wilder and justice warrior so look out for those as well um, oh, actually, we have got a little bit of admin. Sorry, guys, I forgot. Um, Palachuk is gone. Thank you, Jen. You informed me. I quickly switched on the news. And Palachuk, who I talk about a lot up in Queensland, the Labor Minister, has left after, I think it was nine years. Um, you got a few options. I think you got three options coming in now, which will be interesting. They're talking about Stephen Miles, but I'm with you, Jen. He's, he's just... He was really challenging during the uh, CB event. He just implemented everything. I don't have a lot of time for him. So it'll be interesting to see who takes over Anastasia Palaszczuk's role. It seems like all these people are jumping ship, aren't they? They're taking their payouts and running. Um, nothing new there. No surprises, guys, for us. Um, also on the news this morning, they talk about the teacher shortages in Victoria. Yes, Victoria, where Melbourne is. Um They've got a shortage of teachers. I wonder why. I wonder if it's because they sacked them all during uh, the mandate events. That could have had something to do with it. And people just never come back. Like, would you want to go back to a career that you've been kicked out of? Probably not. And that would be a global issue. Um, we've got paramedics threatening to strike towards Christmas in Sydney, New South Wales. Paramedics are going to go off the job again because... They're underpaid, overworked, and I'm guessing short-staffed as well because we know mandates probably affected them too. Um, the other thing, guys, that was on the news this morning, which I know none of us are shocked, they showed a, yes, a another car fire in a house in Sydney. It was in one of the elite suburbs, and one car, two cars caught on fire. One was a Lamborghini and one was a Tesla, and they showed the whole garage, like, burnt out. Um, but they proceeded on the news, yes, of course, to tell you that it definitely was not the Tesla that set it all on fire. So I don't know. I still have a few questions whether it was the Tesla or perhaps it was the charging station. Maybe they're not lying, you know. Maybe maybe it wasn't the actual Tesla, but I'm not seeing the Lamborghini going up in smoke. I really haven't heard of many Lamborghinis catching on fire. So <laughs> so many questions, guys, but, oh, yes, they did confirm that it was definitely not the Tesla that caught on fire. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. They're lying by omission. I would say it would probably be the charger or the battery or something. Anyway, the fires continue. And there always seems to be a Tesla car involved in it, which is all very mysterious, isn't it? Anyway, all right, how about we get straight into the reading? I'm here with my dog guys. I've got Sprocket here. And I've got Sophie here. I'll see if I can show you. There's Sophie. Where's her head? There she is. Hi, Sophie. Sorry, guys. I do make you dizzy. And I've got Sprocket right here. He's a little sad. He's trying to cope with everything, but he's finding it a bit hard, aren't you, Chucky? Hmm? Yeah. He'll be right. 
we just have to give him as much love as we can and just help guide him around. And I try to keep him close to me when I'm at home with him just to give him that little sense of peace. But mind you, they're having a few little scraps at the moment, him and Sophie, because he keeps treading on her. Even with the bell when she's laying still, she lays in the kitchen door and he treads on her and then they have this little scrappy argument. It's quite horrible, but I'm sure they'll nut that out eventually. Oh, it's a challenge, I tell you. I hope you guys are all feeling good with your aches, pains and ailments. Um, I know a lot of you are still suffering out there with a few physical symptoms in our bodies, but all we can do is just keep moving through and trying to improve how we're feeling. So sending you guys strength as well. I know you always send me strength and kindness for myself and Brocker and Sophie and everyone else in my family even. <laughs> so thank you for that. Um, all right, how about we get started and we'll see what comes up. No, oh, no, it can't. It is. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're showing me the big Christmas wrapping, like unwrapping, unwrapping the gifts. Oh, and it's the CB. It's on the move again. It's on the move again. I don't think it's going to close down a lot of Christmas um, events, though, but it is on the move again. It's another wave. Sorry, it's a new variant. Oh, it can't be. It just is immortal. I keep saying it's immortal. It just goes around the globe, around the globe. Well, really, they've turned it into the flu, haven't they? Mm. Or did they turn it into the flu? Or perhaps, mm, was it originally the flu? We don't know. We do have a lot of questions on this channel. When I said that to somebody once, years ago, during the whole event, I said, well, where do you think the, uh... I mean, I'm sure they tweaked it a little bit. But I said, where do you think the flu went? Oh, it disappeared because they shut the borders. Mm. Because there were no flights coming in from other countries. And I went, we have our own flus. Like, we don't just get flus from other countries. Like, no logic was there back then in people. Zero, none. Um, so I'm getting the unwrapping of the presents yet again. We've got the lovely red ribbon opening the cv event it's <laughs> starting again and no doubt uk europe canada all these countries you'll be getting it because of course you're coming into winter so you'll have to get your double jabbies you know your flu combined with the cv all these things to keep you protected um so that's what i'm getting it, there's an there's a different strain coming now oh, and i think we all know it's always going to be worse than the previous ones. I think that's pretty predictable. Um, oh, sorry guys. We're all tired of the uh, predictability of all of this, aren't we? Um, so that's what we've got. We've got the CV, the gift that keeps on giving. The guides are going like this. The gift that keeps on giving. Yes, it is the gift that keeps on giving. I think we've related it a few times to the pass the parcel. We just keep unwrapping it, unwrapping it, unwrapping it but it's like you never get to the end of the pass the parcel game you know like at the kids parties where you keep you stop the music and then you unwrap it oh and that goody gumdrops another variant <laughs> that's what i'm getting that's the image i'm getting as it continues to go around the globe all right <laughs> they're showing me what are those shows what they're showing me like around the world like an around the world trip like the cv present just goes around the world oh what do they call those shows where they travel around the world and it's, it's like a speed race i can't think what it is now anyway that's what the, the that's what the the um the cv is doing it's racing all around the world oh my goodness all right let's keep going Yeah, I'm getting England, UK. I well, know it's happening. Oh, my goodness, the energy today, guys. Um, People are tired of sushi. They're tired of sushi. Sorry, that's Spocky snoring. They're tired of sushi and all his BS. See, we got, it's, it's turning into what originally started okay for sushi and everything, and he seemed to have the people's best interests heart. It's now turning into a bit of the clown show, like the bit of the Boris clown show. Yes, the Boris Johnson clown show that's now got an inquiry about what went wrong during the cv event well i'm getting a similar thing now with sushi people are losing faith and confidence in his decision making abilities um that's just what i'm getting in the uk people 
people aren't seeing him as strong anymore. They're seeing him as a weak little leader. That's just what I'm getting. Who's not making the right decisions for the people. Who's not, well, he says he is addressing the immigration issues. Um, oh, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Um, so people, actually in the UK, I would say, to be honest, people are disgusted in their government. They're disgusted. I mean, this has just been a continuous comedy show. If we think about it, we've had the Boris Johnson show, we had the Liz Truss event, we've had the, we had that guy, who was that guy that went on that celebrity get me out of here from, <laughs> from you? wasn't he the health minister? I can't remember his name now. It's just it's gone out of my mind. But you've had this big comedy show and now we've got the sushi train. I'm getting the sushi train, the sushi show. Um, and it's becoming a farce as well. It's like people in UK are almost embarrassed. It's like when, when Boris had the big party, you know, it was embarrassing. Like how embarrassing. You've got this leader who's telling everybody to stay indoors and do the right thing and is doing the exact opposite. Well, now we've got Sushi who's just treating the people like they're fools and they're starting to see through it now. So I feel like, hmm. Yeah, I feel like Sushi's dropping in the people's views. They don't, they're not trusting him anymore. See, he did, he went too hard. All his rollouts, all that 15 minute city, lucky car, all this crap, immigration. Oh, the list goes on, doesn't it? Um, so people are losing faith in him as well. Hmm. It could be a coup with him, actually. Don't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up ousted as well uh, or he could just leave of his own accord and take his big pay packet we know how it goes but I am feeling that um, yeah I'm just feeling that the people it's a no confidence there's no confidence in sushi now that's what I'm getting it's like the vote of no confidence is what I'm getting around sushi that was when he first got in he was gonna change everything and change it for the worse. And funny, everybody knew. We knew, but no one else knew. All the people waking up weren't aware of that. But now they're starting to realise, don't worry. All right. Yeah, I'm getting that after Christmas. The capitals are going to be targeted. This is globally. They're going to really push the 15-minute city thing, the ban of traffic going into the cities. Uh, I feel like um, this is kind of long-term too. I feel like... Car parks will become obsolete. You'll have to catch public transport or ride a bike. You could ride a bike, save emissions, um, save your carbon emissions and all that. So I'm getting that. They're going to be focusing a lot on these. So it'll be interesting to see which countries start to implement this after Christmas. Um, they're going to use the renewable excuses, of course they are, um, to ensure that these cities are starting to be built globally because we know they're not they're not turning their back on the reset and not doing it we know they're still trying to implement these things they're just it's just that when people put hiccups and hurdles in front of them the little people peasants and lego people they just have to take detours so they just create like i said sushi was trying to create his new blueprint and doing it in a different way that's all they're doing so this is going to happen again after christmas i feel like there's going to be focus on the major cities um See, as we know, and a lot of us here living in the country and that, a lot of these things aren't going to take off in the country. I was actually listening to a um, <clears throat> someone talking in Parliament here this morning about the lecky cars in the rural and country areas, and she was saying how what's going to happen when there's fires and floods and people have to flee or take livestock and all this kind of thing and their cars aren't charged up because the power lines are down, you know. She said during fires she had people come to her house and fill up their cars with fuel and that, but she said if power lines and the power goes out, which it always does, um, then what? People can't escape, which mm, we do question a lot of these things. So just some practical food for thought I thought she was talking about there. It's interesting. There's a lot of things we haven't sort of thought of even ourselves around this lucky car stuff. There's a lot of ways that it just won't work moving forward. Um, so I thought she had a good point there. Mm. All right, let's keep going.
God, I'm getting grease Spain, Madrid. I'll get fight backs. I'll get stand ups. I'll get protests. People don't want it. See, I keep getting this. And remember, 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 guys, we only get fed certain things on mainstream media. They only feed us what they want. They're not going to show us a heap of protests that are going on unless, unless there's some kind of reason they can sweep it under the rug. For example, in France, when those huge protests were on, they were making it, it was, well, it probably started like that when the migrant had killed those children. Um, but half the time, it's about fighting back against their government. We know that here because people get volatile and rise up in their anger against the government. But they're not going to show us these things. I'm going to, well, Greece, I think we've got dramas with one of their islands or I keep saying it, the elites are trying to, you know, build their little elite islands. But I do feel Spain and Madrid, I've had Spain for a while now, haven't I, guys? Um, all right, let's keep going. Oh, I am getting that 10 Downing Street is ready for change. Mm. Interesting. See, that door being locked the other day, I thought was a bit of an indicator <laughs> that that the people were willing the door shut so she so couldn't get back into 10 Downing Street. That was on Clown Planet if you want to go watch her. It's funny as. Yes. Um, yeah, I am. There could be change afoot. There could be. Ah, oh, look. But change, oh, personally, change doesn't make that much difference sometimes, does it? Oh, it'll be interesting to see come the new year, put it that way. All right. And I'm getting blast from the past. <laughs> what does that mean? What's that mean in the UK? What does blast from the past mean? Please don't bring Boris back. No, I'm not seeing Boris. <laughs> God, no one would want Boris back in. Oh, my God. Um, all right. Oh, let's hope to God it's not that, that, that it wouldn't be that other guy getting involved. What's his name, that one that's with the WEF? Um, oh, I know his name too. Oh, God, sorry, guys, I've gone blank. I even said it the other day. What's his name? You know the guy, I mean, that's with the WEF now that seems to have a lot of say in everything. Um, God, I can even see his face. I've got his face. I just can't get his name. You guys in the UK will know who I'm talking about for sure. Um, ah, the tall, skinny guy. Uh, sorry, guys. It might come back to me later. Oh, the guides aren't even helping me get this name. Nah, it's gone. Sorry, guys. I do know his name too. I'm just... What is happening with my brain? Is this normal, guys? Sometimes I just can't think of things. I just go blank. Um, and like a lot of you say, it's this time of year, Christmas. We get a bit overloaded, don't we? We'll blame that anyway. We don't want to use old age. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm getting Australia. Mm, I'm getting Australia's faring quite well on the world stage. We have a dominance, I think, in Australia, and I think it's about the minerals. We know there's a lot going on about trade at the moment. All these leaders, especially Trudeau, etc., they're all talking America. You know, they're all getting together. Macron, um, these leaders are getting together. There's a lot about trade, but I feel like Australia's got a lot to offer. Um, it's saying Australia's in a good position, but we know that Elbow's trying to sell us all off to Panda. Um, but Australia's got a lot to offer. I am getting that. We're seen as a very valuable commodity down here in relation to um, necessary resources. Um, so I feel like we're in a good position um, to offer things to the rest of the world. But the, the question is, who's going to take it? See, who's going to take it? Or who's, rather, like the guides are saying, who's elbow going to give it away to? See, by giving it away, well, for example, if he, oh, I'm getting that song by Red Hot Chili Peppers, give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I don't know what the song's called, um, but I'm getting that line from it about elbows just would be happy to give Australia away to Z Ping. And the thing is, if he does work with Xi Ping and gets Xi Ping some power, gives Xi Ping power in our country, then we, it is giving us away, giving our freedom away, that's for sure. 
So I'm getting that song by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Give it a wee, give it a wee, give it a wee now. Um, I'm trying to think of that guy from 10 Downing Street. Oh, he's on the tip of my tongue. Um, all right. Um, let's keep going. I'm getting America. I am getting Biden. And did you see the latest? Um, did you see the latest interview of Trump calling out Biden? It was brilliant. He just nails it. He talks about it so well. How corrupt he is. There's a new one, and he just talks about the immigration. That if he gets in, he will completely stop the immigration. Um, you know, there's crime on the rise over there with immigrants. There's so much going on in America. It's completely mad. I can't even imagine what you guys are going through over there. But I am getting that. Um, America is really trying to put itself on the world stage. Biden's trying to really lift his game. Like I said, he wants to um, invest in big things and he wants to be seen as the power country again. Like I'm getting shown that eagle. I'm getting shown the big eagle again and like the stars and stripes flag. Um, he wants to be the powerhouse. Biden wants to... I'm not, I'm not seeing it. It's all well and good to want something, but whether you are something is a whole different ball game, isn't it? It doesn't mean that you are going to be able to achieve that. Um, uh, that's what I'm getting. America wants to be the powerhouse again. See, at the moment, if you think about it, if I said to you, like, write down below who you think is the, the global powerhouse, it would be interesting. Just write one country down below, guys, and let me know who you think it is. Personally, I feel, and I don't want to say it, but I do feel that it's Panda at the present moment. I don't mean in a good way. I just think that's the power, that's the threat. You know, or they go on about Korea too, but that's sort of quiet at the moment. I don't see Russia as a dominant force. Um, let me know what you guys think at the moment, but I, I don't think there'd be too many people that would write America. Once upon a time, you probably would because America used to have a lot of say in global decisions and, um, <laughs> and not since Biden's been in power, <laughs> there's not been a lot of great decisions, especially throwing the border gates open <laughs> to Mexico. It's all sort of gone downhill from there, hasn't it, guys? <laughs> The economy economy's not going so great either. So let me know what who you think or if you think that America once was, you know. And moving forward, like how's this all going to work? We certainly don't want Panda as the global strength country, do we? Um, all right, let's keep going. I am getting England again. Gosh, we've been getting a lot of England. There's a lot going on over there. Um, see, Charles, Chucky, I'm getting the Royal Kardashians, but I'm getting that Chucky's making too many mistakes. As much as he's trying to put the Royals back on the, the world stage, people aren't happy about it. They're not accepting it because it's hypocritical. See, it's like I said to you the other day, guys, when he did that talk at that COP summit, like what an absolute hypocrite. Like hypocrite. Flying his jet planes, flying his, oh, driving around his gas guzzling cars and telling all of us that we've got to cut back our emissions, we've got to save the planet, we've got to do this, this and this. Like, that's making people angry. So I am getting in England that Chucky, Chucky, the way people are seeing him, like if people are interviewed on the streets in England and London, UK, they don't think he should be involved in these sort of political decisions or life-changing decisions. Um... See, people don't respect him as a representative of these issues. Like, what would he know? Like, Chucky's, Chucky's not a trained um, weather scientist, is he? He's not trained in these areas. Oh, we need to trust the science, don't we, guys? <laughs> not. Oh, trust the science. I've heard that a few times. So no one's trusting Chucky, basically. And that's not just us here on this channel, guys. That's other people. They they know that he's manipulating all this um, for some sort of cause. See, people know. People are waking up. They know now he's with the WEF and all this kind of stuff. Um, that's what they're 
that's what I'm getting. People are seeing through his lies, BS and garbage and they can see that he's on an agenda. See, people are realizing there's an agenda now. This is all one big agenda. It's not this, this, this and this. All this goes together. So that's what people are waking up to. And, and they don't like what Chucky's doing. Oh, well, he should have just kept to his royal duties. <laughs> oh, how's their lifestyle? It's just such a slap in the face of little people, peasants and Lego people, isn't it? Honestly, it's a joke. Um, all right, let's keep going. Oh, I've got the name, Tony Blair. It was Tony Blair, wasn't it, that was your prime minister, uh, prime minister for a while? Tony Blair. I'm sure that's his name. Um, all right, let's keep going. Oh, thank God I got that. It would have frustrated me all day. All right. We'll see if there's a couple more things and then we'll do some cards, guys. Oh, I'm getting China there again. Getting heaps of China there. Trudeau's got it all going on over there, guys. Um, which is Canada, if you are new. Uh, China. Yeah, Trudeau's jumping through hoops now. I feel like Trudeau, showing me him jumping through hoops, he's making things happen faster. I would say it's bills in Parliament. I would say he's speeding things up. He's jumping through hoops to make things happen. Um, he feels he's got the power and authority to just override some decisions. Uh, this could be around so many things, resources, renewables. There's a lot of this stuff going on with him. He's got a lot going on. Um, and he doesn't care. He'd just stomp and walk all over the little people. He, he's a very, um, I'm not, it's, it's not that he's emotionless, but he's not empathizing. He doesn't, he doesn't care about the little people. I think we've, I think after four years we've worked out, he doesn't really care about the little people, but he's, um, he's quite happy to walk over the little people. Um, he feels like he's got to reach his desires, his target goals. He's got things to achieve and everybody else can just clear the way and clear the path and I'll just implement these things. So that's why I'm getting him jumping through hoops to really make things happen again. In I said he's building himself back up that leader's like ladder and he is, he's, he's rising back to the top. I know that's not what you want to hear in Canada. Oh, let's hope the people do something and soon um, they have to fight back. They have to fight back against this guy. Ah, oh, the fear that he put in people with that freezing of the bank accounts and everything was just so bad because it really did frighten a lot of people. It's that mass control, isn't it? That he could just freeze the bank accounts at any time and then everybody's stuffed. That that's in people's subconscious minds. That that's where it hits people hard is the hip pocket because they can't survive at the moment as it is, can they? Oh, it's crazy. So I am getting that for him. He's still trying to pass a lot of bills. He's trying to get things through legislation. He's trying to get things ticked and signed off before the little people find out about them. This could be a lot around. Well, it could be a lot around the transgender stuff. It could be a lot around. I think you guys have talked to me before about it, taking that power away from parents so that a child can make decisions if they're over, what, 12 or 14 or something. You know, just crazy shit. He's trying to get all this through um, because he feels like he can override the people. He feels the people don't have the knowledge to make those decisions, that he's the powerhouse that has to make all these decisions. It's absolutely insane, isn't it, all this stuff? You can't even believe that our lives are, are being hit with this rubbish. It's just rubbish. Oh. And, and you can't believe that they're all on the same agenda. They're all on the same agenda. Not all, nearly all countries, but they're all on that same agenda. Oh, it's so frustrating. And it's like they implement a few goals. Look at Palachuk in Queensland. They implement their things, get to a certain point, and they get their payout and they run. We've no doubt that they're getting a, you know, a few payouts from probably just saying Big Pharma and a few other things. Um, so, you know, and even when they retire, they still get their government pension or whatever. They get a pretty good pension if they've been um, in these positions. So, you know, it's a win-win for them, isn't it? Not for the little people because they're the ones that have to pick up all the pieces and pay off all the debts that these 
leaders have created. Um, I'll see if there's one more thing and then we'll pull some cards, guys. Oh, I'm getting China. I'm actually getting that China's preparing for military action, military strikes. Maybe not strikes, but military action of some sort. Um, and they're going to use the, oh, we were just defending ourselves. We know that China loves to stir up the pot. Mm, I'm kind of getting Europe. I don't know why I'm getting Europe, but I'm just going to say it anyway. I do feel like China's stirring up the pot, perhaps with Europe. I'm not sure. Um, but it's like teasing. You know, it's like the drones. If it was the drones in America, we don't know because Biden probably lied. Um, but I'm getting it's not a big life threat, but they're preparing their military and they're going to they're gonna get their presence out there again. I feel like we're going to start seeing more of China's military on the news and how they're perhaps a threat and they want this to become a global issue again. You know how they've gone pretty quiet for a while, but now they're starting to become that threat again because they want power on the world stage and they have to keep threatening countries in order to get their resources and get that power. Because if you've got the resources, mm -hmm, that's why he's rubbing up shoulders with elbow and sucking up to elbow, um, you've got the power. Oh, I'm getting that song. I got the power by Snap. Um, we know that song. Um, that's what I'm getting for China. They want the power. I've always said it was China. It's never Russia or anything like that. Um, all right, how about we pull some cards, guys? Oh, my goodness. It's a weird old world that we're living in, isn't it? I'm getting that song. I'm getting a song. You remember? Do you remember that song? It's a beautiful world that could be. What a glorious time to be free. Do, 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 do. It's an old song. I can't remember who sings it, though. <laughs> what a beautiful world it would be. Enchantment. We've got the unicorn energy, which is the guidance, enchantment. I'm thinking magical, mysterious, um, enchanting. Um, I think, to be honest, that's how we see the world. We get, we find, I'm, I'm just getting that enchantment. When I think of it, it's like captivating magic. We see the world as enchanting. Oh, now, it's very captivating to us and mysterious and interesting. Now that we've woken up, we find the world very interesting. Um and I'm getting miracles in reverse. But we'll turn that around, which means it's happening. Miracles are happening. People are awakening. People are seeing the light. Um, I'm just getting miracles. God, it is a bloody miracle. We thought no one would wake up to this stuff, but you guys are confirming. Every day we get confirmation here, and I'm hearing of people waking up, um, especially around certain, you know, jibby jab areas as well. People are realizing it kind of might be making them a little bit... Mm, not well. Anyway, we won't go there because we're not allowed to talk about these things. Oh, forgiveness. See, we've we've forgiven long ago. As much as we still think about it, I know my hubby and I were talking about it the other day, how people really hurt us during all that. And, you know, we a lot of us went through hard times, whether it was that you were ostracised and vilified or you lost your jobs or, or whatever happened. Um, even to this day, like, for example, my mum, I still haven't visited my mum. She wouldn't let us in her house for, like, four years. So I kind of go, well, you know what, maybe I just won't bother to visit. And she's, like, 12 hours away. But I just kind of think, well, are you still going to carry on if I go and visit? So I just ring her up on the phone. But, you know, that's sad that that's happened. It really uh, well, it didn't ruin our relationship, but it just made it sad. It put a little bit of a wedge there. But I'm the bigger person, see, I still ring her and I don't talk about it and I just let her live her life the way she chooses. But I blame mainstream media for that. They brainwashed people. It was awful. Archangel Sandalphon, I have heard your call for help. Your prayer will soon be answered. Oh, maybe that's around our aches, pains and ailments, guys. We need help to heal. <laughs> it could be, but it also could be just help moving forward, you know. We we still have questions like what's next? How much of this reset is still going to roll out? Like how do we navigate it as well? There's a lot of questions that we need a bit of guidance with, isn't there? Um, hang on a minute. You right, so? You're 
Yeah, and the guides are just saying to me, like, around that one, just eliminate the garbage, eliminate the nonsense. I know a lot of you have been turning off mainstream media and getting off. I've hardly been doing Facebook, guys, because I've got two Facebook channels. I've got my Psychic Life Coach one and a normal one because I just feel like it's a false world that people are just putting on their false lives. It's not real. No one talks to each other anymore. No one interacts anymore. This is what the guides are saying, like, get rid of the junk in your life. Don't clutter up your life with just all this social media and the BS on TV. I mean, we watch a bit of TV here just for a bit of a laugh and a clown show so we can discuss the silly nonsense that all our leaders are talking about. That, that's a whole different thing because we're using it for entertainment purposes, just like my videos are for entertainment purposes. Um, so your prayer will soon be answered. Well, I think it is being answered. I think the fact that people are waking up, guys, is, is a huge deal. That's a huge deal because I really used to worry with that mass psychosis that they would never wake up, but they really are. Um, how about we um, do our viewer reads now, guys? So yesterday I did Debbie Wild, day before rather, I did Debbie Wild and Justice Warrior. All right, and today I'm going to do, first off, Betty Lung. Hello, Betty. Um, I have got two Bettys on my channel. I get muddled up. You know I do, guys. And my mum's name is Betty. <laughs> so let's see what we get for you today, Betty. Helpful people. But I feel like you're a helpful person, Betty. I feel like you help people. That's what I'm getting. You help people, but in some weird way, people help you too without you knowing it. I feel like you're a very giving person. You're a very loyal person. But by giving, you actually receive. It's that old It's that old sort of saying, like, if you give, you, you get, you receive. But it's an energy exchange. See, I feel like when you help people, it makes you feel better. I'm just getting that for you, Betty. Success. Yeah. Ooh. You're moving. To me, you're moving towards success too. The light's getting brighter. Um, you're flowing better. You're improving your life. Um, you're realizing how to do these things now. I feel like you're realizing how to kind of manifest and create things in order to feel like you're on the right path. I feel like you're having good success around this. Oh, I'll get more information. See, and this is about growth too. You know, we've got that sort of pyramid energy in this card here and your heart chakra is expanding and growing. But you could certainly um, use a little bit more knowledge. I feel like you're... You're not lacking in knowledge, but you you have a basic understanding of the spiritual world. But I feel like you could delve deeper. The guides are saying you could delve deeper, like under the mud. It's showing me mud. And if you delve deeper, then there's kind of showing me the lotus coming up out of the mud. That'll be you. You'll be like the lotus coming out of the mud. Um, that's just the image they're giving me. You've still got a lot of learning and growing and it's a, it's positive because you're looking to expand, you're looking to grow, you're looking for new things, you're looking for stimulation. It's almost like you're a little bit spiritually bored. That's what I'm getting. Um, spirituality to you at the moment to me feels basic. It feels boring. Um, I feel like you've got to find the spiritual avenues that really ignite your soul and bring you to life. Um, hang on a sec, see what I get around this. I might pull actually a soul expression card around this. I'd say you're a little bit spiritually fatigued is the word I'm getting. There's like a fatigue, a tiredness. Manifestation. What do you want to manifest in your life? Positive relief, positive thought, positive action, positive results. It's a nice spot. Um... Yeah, manifestation. You're just starting to um, get a grasp on manifestation and what it's about and what it's used for and how it highlights back to you and reflects back to you um, where you're heading, where you're going, what you're achieving. Um, I'm, I am getting that for you. That's an area you could work on. See, I'm getting this spiritual fatigue, but it's like boredom, grounded energy. Meditate with this card to feel the loving support of grounded energy. And grounded energy could be so many different things um, to me. Oh, sorry, it won't. Oh, there we go. Grounded energy can be so many different things. It could mean having a bath with Epsom salt. Um, it could be sitting and reading a book on a couch. 
Um, grounded energy is different things to different people. Um, when they say ground your energy, what they mean is dis just distract yourself back into the moment. Do something that's going to um, oh, slow down your mind, slow down your breathing. It's that spiritual decluttering, see, in the moment. I'm in my body, grounded, conscious, and aware in the current moment. See, I feel like you're too um, turbulent. You're a little bit all over the place. I think what's happening with you, Betty, is that you're you're spiritually awakened, right? But it's like you, you can't get a smooth spiritual path. I feel like your spiritual path is all over the place. You're doing a little bit of this and you're doing a little bit of that and you've got a little bit of this going on, but you're kind of understanding that. So I feel like you've got snippets of everything, but you can't get clarity on one thing. So I feel like you've got to probably focus on what, what you're pulled towards. Um, for example, some people are pulled towards crystals. Some people are pulled towards cards. Some people are pulled towards um, just listening, for example, to podcasts or to YouTube channels. Um, we're all pulled to different things spiritually. Um, you know, we're all different. So I think what you've got to get, your, to me, you're tangled up in spirituality. You're too tangled. It's like a, a big tangled um, ball of, well, for example, we'll use Christmas lights. You know when you take your Christmas lights off the tree and normally you roll them into a nice neat ball of Christmas lights? That's how you normally store them or whatever. Well, it's like you've gone out to your shed or whatever to get the Christmas lights out and they're just complete tangled up. That's the image I'm getting for you, Betty. Your, but this is your spirituality, your light inside. It's tangled up. You need to untangle it. And you need, see, what the guides are saying, rather than doing bits of everything and, and not really understanding it but brushing over it, you're better to focus on three things and doing it really well and understanding it. So that's what I'm getting. Um, I feel like you're too tangled up spiritually. You've got to detangle You've got to detangle, Betty. Um, hang on a minute. And again, it's that loosening up the wires. You know, you have to shake Christmas lights to get them untangled. It's like that. You've got to shake things. Um, that's what I'm getting. You've got to start untangling. Let's see if we can get any way that you can do this. Because I know that's not easy. I feel like you're a bit clouded and confused. Thoughts. There you go. I bring awareness to my thoughts. I release the negative ones. I nurture the positive self-loving ones. Yeah. Because I think you overthink. That's the problem. You overthink everything and it, it causes you to, to sort of stumble and trip up. Um, you're overthinking things. It, life doesn't have to be that difficult. Keep it really simple, Betty. Keep your, um, keep your spirituality simple. Maybe what you've got to do is like go back to basics. Um, sit out under a tree, listen to the birds, you know, do the basic things. Watch watch a TV show and have a good laugh. That's a simple thing. Just do simple things because I feel like you're touching on too many things and it's causing you confusion. Um, just, for example, watch someone, well, watch me, of course, but watch people on YouTube that you really resonate with. You know, if someone's um, too complicated and it's going over your head, then that pretty much means you're not resonating with that person and it's just causing you confusion. So I feel like this is what you've got to do. You've got to get back to basics, Betty, with your spirituality. You're too spiritually cluttered in the mind. Um, so that's what I want you to do. Get more information, but get the information that you're drawn to and focus on, you're better to focus on three three avenues that you're interested in spiritually than everything and trying to absorb it all because it's too much your little brain's like fogged and overloaded all right i hope that made sense betty that's what you've got to do <laughs> all right the next person i'm going to read is dawn hamlin dawn i'm going to read you an angel's answers card <clears throat> reconsider oh we've had this a few times um you're stagnant at the moment um i feel like this is about your direction definitely um which way you want to go and it's a big decision i feel like it's a big decision um you you've put the like stake in the ground 
you're, I think you're a bit stubborn and you've dug your heels in. That's what I'm getting, Dawn. You've dug your heels in. And, and the thing is, you don't shift easily. You don't shift easily. Your heels are dug in. Oh, I choose a new direction. There you go. So the guides are kind of guiding you to that new direction. I feel like you're a little bit hesitant to move forward. It's like the heels dug into the ground. You've just got to take the step forward now. I feel like you're a little bit fearful of the step forward. Like, what if it's wrong? What if something goes wrong? How do I go back? But you don't want to go back. You want to keep moving forward. It's your, yeah, forgiveness. Let things go. Let things go. And I always believe when I get forgiveness, it's not just about forgiving other people. It's about um, forgiving yourself for the things you, you've gone through or the way you've acted or the way you've felt. Just let it all go. It's not serving you. It's keeping your heels stuck in the ground because you're very stubborn, Dawn. That's what I'm getting. You're like a stubborn mule with its hooves stuck in the ground. There you go. Just get your focus right. Start looking around. Start simplifying your life. Focus on what you want. See, again, you're focusing on what you don't want. You're focusing on what you don't want, and it's making you lose your way. Focus on what you do want. And it's all divine. Oh, we've got a nude person. I better cover it up. It's all divine timing. You're being led there anyway. I think you just got to let it all go now, Dawn, because it's divine timing. Things will happen when they're meant to happen. It's all divine timing. And, you know, those two cards are actually from my other pack. It's interesting. They're from my Doring Virtues, muddled up with my other pack. Um, soul expression card. So you're meant to get them, Dawn. Mm, divine timing. Just leave it to the universe. Breathe. I breathe in love. I breathe out love. I breathe properly, allowing breath to lovingly nourish my body. very important when you're just making decisions that you think with a clear mind so getting focusing on your breath helps to clear the clutter of the all the thoughts that are going through especially when you have got decisions to make on how to move forward or do i take that first step speak your truth i lovingly speak the truth i'm worthy of being heard and having my needs met absolutely don't think you're not and that's where those forgiveness and that comes back into it um, forgive yourself for not speaking up maybe in the past and saying what you think. You do now, and that's the main thing. You say what you think now. I feel like you you know your truth now. You know, um, you know who you are is what I'm getting, butterfly. You are in a transformational part of your life. Get ready to spread your wings and fly. Oh, that's beautiful, Dawn. And we always talk about emerging from the caterpillar into the butterfly. Well, you're on your way now. You're on your path. You're flying. And I'm getting that song by Bette Midler. Fly the wind beneath my wings. That's a beautiful song. That's the song for you today, Dawn. You have the wind beneath your wings. You're emerging into the butterfly. So I would say you're still stepping forward spiritually into who you really are. But you are getting there. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, I'm going to leave you with that, Dawn. Um, you're emerging into your butterfly energy, which is beautiful. That means you're flying free now. You can trust in your own intuition and your own judgment. All right, I'm going to see if there's one more thing, and then I'll say goodbye for me and the doggos. I keep giving me this Fleetwood Mac song. Is it stand up, stand up, stand up in the middle of the room? I could not see you. Stand up, stand up in the middle of the night to be dancing in a line. I don't know what the song's called, but I'm going to leave you with that anyway today. That's the song we're getting. We always get a bit of Fleetwood Mac, don't we? All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day. I'm off to do some more Christy shopping and finish a few bits and bobs off. And don't forget, like buttons. Please subscribe and comment down below and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.